In this video, I'm going to use the TI-89 graphing calculator to solve both of these exponential equations. And these are the same equations that I did in another video. In that particular video, I requested that you do not use a calculator. Do this mainly by using algebra. I did the first one here by factoring. I did the second one by using the quadratic formula because it didn't factor. And I'm going to link that video in the uh, description in case you want to view it. Uh, here I'm going to use the uh, calculator, the TI-89. I'm going to go to F2, that's algebra. And the first, one, first command is uh, solve. Uh, enter 1 or hit enter because it's already highlighted. And then we simply enter the equation as is. So this will be 4 and an exponent x and then minus 10 times 4. And the power here is when in doubt, always put parentheses minus x. equal to 3. And then for this, uh, these type of commands we need to uh, define the variable. So I put a comma and then tell the calculator what variable I'm using is x. Close parentheses and I hit enter. And the exact solution is x is equal to the natural log natural log of 5 over 2 times the natural log of 2. Now you can also write this, because you can get different answers depending on how you write this. This 2 can become a, this coefficient of 2 can become an exponent. And that's the same thing, that would be the same thing as the natural log of 2 to the second, which is 4. So this would be your exact solution using this using the calculator. And if you wanted an approximation, then you can just compute this out. Add on the 5 divided by the n of the 4. And you should get something in the... In the video that I did, I went ahead and did it both ways. And the approximation is 1.1.161. 1 1 and also remind you that when I did it in the video, I used the log to base 4 in order to eliminate the base. I didn't have to do that, but I gave the exact answer as the log of 5 to base 4. So this is the exact answer that I gave on the video. But using the change of base formula, you can rewrite this also as you pick your base. So normally you pick base 10 or base E, because that's what you have in your calculator. So in that case, if I use the natural log, that would be the natural log of the 5 over the natural log of whatever the base is. Of course, in this case it's 4. I get the natural log of 4, just so that you can know how I got the answer in the video and how the calculator gives you the answer. So you notice log of 4 that's the same thing as the natural log of 2 squared. And the property of logs allows me to bring this exponent as a coefficient. So this would also be the same thing as twice the natural log of 2. Okay, so let's clear this now. So now let's look at the next one here. Again, same command. So F2 and then hit enter. I want the first one there. Notice you can also factor with this calculator. So this will be 16 
to the x power, so this will be x, plus 4 exponent, again I'm going to put parentheses here, x plus 1, close parentheses, minus 3, equal to 0, and then a comma to indicate the variable I'm using, x, this, hit enter, and I get this answer. Now again on the video you'll see this, I used, I used the base 4 again, so I can actually end the video just so that you can figure this out. I got the log, the exact answer that I gave on the video, doing it by using the quadratic formula, was x is equal to log of 4 to the square root of 7 minus 2 or minus 2 plus the square root of 7. It's the same thing. This is the answer I believe I gave on the video. It could have been negative 2 plus the square root of 7, which is the same thing. Now, if you want to master calculator, well, that's the same thing. I can re just change the base. So here I got base 4. I can rewrite it with any base I want. Since the calculator has ln, I'm going to use ln, or natural log. So it would be the natural log of the what I have right here, so this will be square root of 7 minus 2 over again, to log whatever you can. I could see I could use base 3 here if I wanted to, log to base 3. But I want ln because that's what your calculator has. So even though you want an exact answer here, this will be then the natural log of 4. And here I don't need parentheses on this one. I just put 4. So this then is what I gave. And you say, well, it doesn't look like what I have here. Well, no, it's again, the same thing. 2 to the second, you can bring the 2 out in front, and you can match it with this. So the log of 4 is the same thing as twice the log, natural log in this case, of, of 2. And like I said, I'll put a link in the uh, description of this video. So you can uh, review that video just in case you didn't see it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.